Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight, it's 2600 Yay! Yay! Congratulations, Arena Foot, you made it. <laughs> yes, he did. He's back home. And back watching the 2600 Nights. Yeah. Exactly yeah. where he should be. Yes. <laughs> um, tonight, we have a very special show because we're going to be unboxing the retail version of Keijo Chases the Cheese, mm. all the way from our friends in Brazil. Nice. Uh, this I'm by excited. Leonardo That's Santiago, great. who is in the chat. Welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be playing Retro Park by Thomas Fenner, uh, uh, Darth Tom, and mm. Legendary Spear by Dave Christensen. And then later on in the show after the show, we're going to be trying Shot again. Enduro! Enduro, trying to get <clears throat> to the end of day five. Nice. We almost got it last time, but uh, we're going to really give it enough. close. Really close. I almost if made I it to the end of day four, I yeah. think. And day five is not much different not as far as further. I know. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show, who are scrolling down the side there. 8 bit Swami Allen, the Fur Arms Car Coder, Atari H. Zero, 06502, Bomberman, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Charles and Jack. Charles Wheel and Chive 5, Coconut, Dianoid, Dan, Andrew Darling, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Emmy, Dan, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, I is supposed to, Jedekai, Dianoid, WC, Carl G. Croco, Mark Basic, Metal Atari, Mech, Metal Lunar, Mick Moose, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgic, 26, Pack Rat, VG, Coog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Carter, Pimps, R. Siddle, Smitty B, Soccer D, Spice, Rare, SMR, the D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan, Gay, Timothy Lamphere, and Trek MD. You would have made it if not for those meddling kids. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, if you want to support the show and get your name read there, just click subscribe. And it's uh, free if you link up Amazon Prime, if you have that. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure you follow us on Twitch so that you get alerted. And also subscribe YouTube if you can't see it live. Mm -hmm. All that good stuff. Now, I do have a poll question tonight. Next time I'll hear James do a Micro Machines mm -hmm. commercial. I'll get the script and I'll just do it right at the end of the yeah. reading out the yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. You won't even <laughs> notice I've transitioned into a Micro Machines yeah. commercial. Oh, the cats are fighting. Yeah. Um, so I have a poll topic. I saw this talked about on a Facebook page, an Atari Facebook page or a retro gaming Facebook page. Um, and I thought it was pretty relevant for here. Uh, the question is, uh, should you mod classic systems? I mean, I know my answer, but yeah. maybe some people have some I think other... if your answer was no, you, <laughs> you express it in a very strange way. <laughs> yes, by modding everything. <laughs> by modding everything. <laughs> um, the, the answers are one, no, they belong in the museum. <laughs> RF on CRT for life. <laughs> Uh, number two, only if it's reversible and non-destructive. Mm. Some people might choose that. Mm -hmm. And number three, millions of them are made. Why not be able to enjoy them on modern TVs? That's right. And my answer is number three. I don't care if they get destroyed because there are so many of them. If it was like well, mm -hmm. the uh, Nintendo PlayStation mm. where there's one in the world... You're not going to be going modding that. You leave it exactly as it is. Yeah. But you're looking at an Atari 800 XL. XL. That was the most popular Atari home computer ever made. Mm -hmm. You're good. There's no problem modding that. You can get another one. Mm. Um, a 7800, no problem. Nintendo PlayStation, yeah. It got trotted around all the different um, uh, retro gaming conventions yes. in 2018, 19. Yes. It was literally, Nintendo was working with Sony. Yeah. Um, to make a disc-based game system for their next system. Yeah. And things didn't work out, and it became PlayStation 1. So that's well. the story of the Ninten Nintendo PlayStation. Yes. Um, RC70 was not aware of that. Yeah. Um, so the there are, quite, are There out. are more ones there than I'm, I was expecting. I'm surprised. Do you people yeah. actually play your systems on over CRTs? stock Maybe. RF on CRTs? Yeah. Yeah, crossbow. Yeah, crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mod the world. Mod the world. Mod the world. Yes, the XL has been uh, uh, graduated up to the shelf. It has taken its place yeah. alongside the 2600. Pixel is clearly quite upset because he he's, seemed to really enjoy cuddling up to it. Yeah, so. he's like, where, where's yeah. the XL? So he's picking fights with his brother right now. Can you see it? Not, uh, you can't see him, bit. but you can see them fighting, you can see fighting his feet. on the bottom. 
Yeah, it's like it's made time. it onto the shelf. There's enough room. I do have to rearrange the, the upscalers um, a little bit in the background, but it's it's getting there. Yeah, there is you, enough you room. You come up with some ideas with to space, hide it, too. right? So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm getting maybe, there. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, many drug dealers don't use their own drugs, so you never know. <laughs> Carl G said to Crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I got a heavy sixer, an Atari Twenty Six Hundred's heavy sixer, I probably mm. would not mod that. Because why would I? Mm. I would just leave it as is. It'd be a nice display piece, but a six switch, a, a, a light sixer, no big deal. Mm. Um, there's so many of them made. Uh, will the XL be replaced by the upgraded XEGS? Um, well, the XEGS is just getting fixed right now. It's not being upgraded. I probably won't upgrade it. I'm pretty happy actually with the S video with the output. output. Yeah, it's really clean. If it's working well. And um, and I've read some reports that the Sophia 2, which is the DVI mod okay. for 8-bit um, systems, mm -hmm. actually it, it actually replaces the video chip. Oh. So you're really emulating you're, the video out. So you're, kind you're not of, taking signals as much, and there's some incompatibilities. You're, you're sort of modifying it then. Yeah, you're actually replacing a piece. Like, like a piece of the hardware. Yeah. Not, somebody just, can, not just the output, right? Yeah, yeah. somebody can tell me mm -hmm. that I'm wrong, but that, that's what I've read. And so there's incompatibilities that can be fixed because you can upgrade, I believe, upgrade the Sophia too. But anyway. RC70. Uh, relaying a story, I garbage picked a wood grain CRT just so I could use it with my 2600. <laughs> Embarrassed my kid when I did it because I garbage picked it in front of his friends. That would do it. Good job. Your dad diving Good into job. the garbage. That is embarrassing <laughs> a ch your tech. child and and staying true to your 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 um your beliefs. Your beliefs. Yeah, your I agree with it. Your old school anti beliefs. anti modding beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, like so that. I've got some news before <laughs> we jump into the unboxing, because I do have some, actually have some boxes here, mm. more than one. Um, I got a message from David Fleming from Packrat Video Games uh, yesterday okay. uh, with an update about Iran, uh, who, which is the game from VHZC, The Endless Runner. Mm -hmm. And uh, so here's the web page, and it's got Iran there, Larry the Lemon, and Ram Pong to be announced. He said, um, for your information, update on Iran and difficulty getting controller chips for 16K boards. Um, I ran for 2600. Its status is in progress. It's going to have a limited boxed release of the game, mm. um, but it's been delayed due to a chip shortage for 2600 boards. Mm. So shortages, eh? late 2021 is the best one can say at this time. So probably the earliest, it's going to be late 2021 for Iran here. And um, then I asked him about the other two uh, uh, games that he is going to be releasing in 2021. And he said, um, uh, Larry the Lemon by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land, play a lot of his games here. And Ram Pong, which is by Thomas Yench. Um, he said, Larry and Ram Pong are already made. So they will be coming out in November. So they do have a set release date. They are coming out in November, and I'm really excited for that. Cool. Not because of the game itself, because of how unique the game it is. It is so it's, unique, yeah. There's, it's going to be a one-of-a-kind type game when it's released. Mm -hmm. You plug it in, you turn on your machine, it actually loads the program into the RAM. Program. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying. And you can take out the cartridge. Yeah, that's amazing. And you can amazing. still play the game. Yeah, that's amazing. It just blows my mind that a whole game fits in Atari 2600, 128 bytes of RAM. Unbelievable. Bytes. Yeah. Um, and insane. Crossbow is also feeling the pain mm. of chip shortages. I bet. Um, you are getting, a, talking about me, you're, you're getting the last of the RGB boards I've been offering for the Intellivision because of chip shortages and changes mm. in how they'll be offered in the future. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, chip shortages are even affecting 2600 cards. Everything. Yeah. That's why I can't get a Sophia 2 as well. Like, That's insane. Across the board, every tech sector wow. is being affected by chip shortages right now because there's just not enough people. The shipments are well, slow for working. It's just everything just, is slowed down. Everyone needs to come up with 
garage chip manufacturing? <laughs> yeah, is no. Is that even possible? No, I don't not. think so. No. 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 There is a Pong that does not use RAM at all. Yeah. But it uses ROM. Yeah, it has the. Mm. there's one that does the opposite, mm. where it doesn't store anything in RAM. There's no variable stored in RAM. Mm. It's all stored in um, the video memory, I believe, like and, and stack pointers and stuff. Mm but not the RAM itself, not the 128 bytes. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is other storage on the 2600, but it's, I mean, it's very small. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the registers, that's right. It's, which is mind blowing mm -hmm. that it can store that in the registers. Um, and I have ordered, speaking of mods, yeah. um, the UAV board for the Atari 5200 to upgrade my 5200, mm -hmm. my four port, 5200 so we can play four port games okay cool and i've also ordered the power mod as well because the 5200 has the the original four port 5200 has the weirdest strangest most dangerous power supply you've ever seen oh yeah 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 you were you were yeah you plug it how does it work again you plug it into the wall and then it has a breakout where the power comes off of the RF cable somehow. I can't remember where, how it's wired, but power goes over the RF cable. So when you plug it in, it, it sparks. It literally sparks if you don't plug it in the right way. Oh Video gosh. and power travel across the same, same wire, which is possible huh? to do, totally possible. It's just the design was insane. And... Uh, <laughs> Very dangerous and terrible and... Um, Off the same wire? Yeah, on the same wire. Like, not just two wires in the same cord. You're talking about the, the same, same wire. wire. The video signal and the I can't even, like, mentally figure out how that would work. And then it got broken out afterwards. It it went to the... Was wire. there, like, a wire shortage oh, somewhere? Yeah. Like, but that's crazy. I don't know why they thought it's... Yeah. Yes. And after, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of 5200 games. Nice. including real sports curling nice. well the, the four players will save for a four player day yes. and we'll do a bunch of four player games yes. on a variety of systems because of the um four player breakout mm -hmm. box for the um 2600 mm -hmm. which is called quadtari that's right and on the 5200 there's a bunch of four player games as well oh cool so that's what we'll be doing I, yep yeah uh, power over Ethernet. Yeah, there is power over Ethernet mm -hmm. as well. Um, so let's open the mail. Da, da, da. Open the one I don't know what it is first. It is from Super Rare Games Limited in the UK. It's going to be a new new game. A, a new game. It's not. Or no, newish. Nothing game. to do with yeah. a retro. Well, it's retroish. It's always usually retroish games that I buy. But you do like to show off what he does like to show off what he buys. <laughs> Why not? Why yeah. not? See what it is. Yeah, they're fun. They're usually... Oh, it's a Switch game. Ooh. It is a Switch game. Actually, I think I bought this one for you. Yes, you did. Yay. Thank you for your purchase. Um, this one is Little Wood. Nice. And it looked really cool. Thank you. It looked <laughs> like... Like, an... like you're, you're, make, you're building like a little garden. One of those it, games. It looked like yeah. Animal Crossing. A little bit Animal Crossing-y, yeah. It's very Animal Crossing. Yeah. Oh, switch, switch, the ch switch the camera. Sure. Sorry? Oh, yes. Very tiny. We're done with that. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> Yay. Bruce Lee. No, not Bruce Lee. It's not Bruce Lee. Oh, I see. The cartridges it still says Bruce Lee. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch that. So we're going to open up this box, which I do know what it is. Oh, Littlewood. Nostalgia got that as well. Very nice. And I like getting things on disc well, or cartridge the because cartridge. Yeah. it lasts forever. Yep. Um... Sadly, sometimes it's not the final version of the game, and there needs to be updates. And so, hmm. when the server is shut down, you're, you're going to be stuck with, stuck with whatever version. Hopefully, a playable version. Hopefully, that's not too buggy. Very but cute. usually, these like limited run games and super kind of done. Rare. They they've been around. They for wait a while. for a bit. The yeah. games usually. Some of them they don't. Nice. So fresh from Brazil with a whole bunch of shredded paper that I'm not going to get on the ground. The cat's very excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. This is this is probably worse than packing peanuts because they're much smaller. 
There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, and there's packing peanuts. Best of both worlds. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing else in here that I'm missing. Nope. Nope. Okay, close that up. Did I get any? Oh, a little bit. There's a lot of shredded paper in there. Leo, if we start, uh, can we, can we, um, tape back you know like your old visa bills like if we start going through the shredded paper oh just yeah <laughs> um crossbow says yeah imagine getting the switch version of animal crossing with just the original release yeah, yeah. that's that's a big problem yeah i mean we cut you kind of know going into it so you have to accept that because there's i don't i doubt there's going to be an animal crossing final release version i don't know there have been lots of upgrades. Because by then, so... oh, it did get all over me. Yeah. <laughs> because by then, everybody's played it, and how many they're going to be able to sell, right? Yeah. That's, that's the issue. Yeah. So it's this trade-off. And it's also a game where it keeps updating. Like, there's seasonal things, and you interact with mm -hmm. people. I bought a Mario game a little while ago. I didn't understand what was going to stop working when it expired. Expired. Oh, no. Oh. That's bad yeah, especially i don't if, like that at all especially if it's a single player game if it's a multiplayer online only yeah only you know that it, it's a experience that you have between this date and this yeah date. and then then you then all the it. all the multiplayer stuff will eventually go away right yeah, yeah that's under, understandable it's like going on vacation you know yeah you're only going for on vacation yeah, for a week exactly. and that's your week and then it's yeah. over and you can take some pictures and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remember your week um Mm. There we go. <gasps> Kajo chases Yay! the cheese. Look at that. Very, very nice. Thank you to my friends in Brazil. This is from Red Button Games. Uh, so let me switch over so you guys can take a look at it. Mario 35 was really fun, actually. Played that a bit, didn't we? Yeah. Fun at just 4K. Nice. Very nice box. Very nice. Great and oh. Squish. Yeah. Squish, that, Squish cat. that cat. So let's open this up. <sighs> I'm gonna flip it. Up, turn, flip it over. Oh no, I'm gonna go back. Oh, okay. I'll flip it for now. No. Hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. Did I crease it? Well, it is creased. I don't know if I did that. <laughs> nice. Game. There's the manual. I love that cartoon mouse on the front. Oh, he's very it's cute. He's got very expressive eyebrows. Very, very cute. So let's show you the game and the manual. Okay, Joe chases the cheese. And label. Mm. Is it focusing? What's happening? Come on. There we go. It's tree time. Oh, it's tree time. Yay! Thank you, Carl G. Thanks, oh my Carl. gosh, these cats just lost it. <laughs> they just lost it. They their minds. lost their minds. Oh, this gray cat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? Give them treats in a second. In a second, yeah, so you can there see we them. Go. And we'll read through it. Oh. <laughs> he knows what it means now. He does. He He's does. a smart kitty. Oh. When it comes to food, yep. he is smart. So, um, <laughs> I got a comment on uh, YouTube the other day. We'll keep it on the cat camera right now. Yeah. While they, while they feed. Yes. Um, Darren Folds. Mm hmm said, hey, a friend sent me to your video, and I really enjoyed watching you play Invader. It's really neat for uh, me as a C64 guy to see my game ported over to the Atari 8-bits. That's cool. And of course, it's always fun to see people playing it and hearing what they're thinking about how best to play it and such. Fun show. Um, so here is his comment and my reply. Um, and I said, thank you so much for watching, Darren. It was really fun playing the Atari 8-bit port, 8 port of your game. Yeah. We like to have that sense of discovery happen live on the show with the games we play and not spoil too much before checking it out on the stream. So happy you enjoyed the show. 
um, which is uh, which we really love to do, mm -hmm. is kind of experience it for the first time, as if like we're new players, which we are when we play the game. I mean, I do check it out a tiny bit, and some I get addicted to and play a lot. But mm -hmm. for the most part, we play the games. Um, going in not knowing a thing about it, and especially the guest, like co-host. Yes. Tanya. I never in, know what's going on. Goes, she doesn't even know <laughs> what games we're playing. Yeah. Uh, oh, serial number? Is there one? Oh, yep, yeah, zero, zero, 003. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Good number. Yeah. Uh, Can flip it back now. Yeah. He's not getting any more. <laughs> oh, he's done? <laughs> yeah. He's done his treats. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I, oh, you want, you actually want me to show it. Show the serial number on the back. It's printed on very translucent. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yep. Oh, upside down. Upside down. Or D's. Oh no, it is zero, zero, 003. There you go. Very nice. Zero, zero, 003. Number three. How many uh, were made of the unlim or limited versions, or however you're going to do it? I think there's limited and then unlimited. I'm not sure though. Mm. Um, Okay, so it's time to play the game. Yes. Uh, let me uh, fix the cartridge label first so it doesn't say Bruce Lee. Because that's not what we're playing. We're playing KJ. K. J. K. There we go. Boom. Boom. So we've got an actual cartridge, so we can plug that actually right in. Uh, oh. Didn't take. No, because switch over. It's not on the. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay. And it's blue screen. Oh, it's because yeah, yeah. Never mind. Because there's no game <laughs> yeah. in there. I'm like, what are we looking at? Oh, I see. Fifty copies. Leo said. Fifty. Okay. Very wow. nice. Very Thank you for the number three. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Press the button. I'll reset. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, so Keijo Chases Cheese User Manual Manuel do Osurario. <laughs> no, terrible. gotta work on our Spanish. Yes, or we Portuguese, do. <laughs> depending on where we are. <laughs> uh, I think it's Portuguese because from Brazil. It would be, yeah. Okay, so you can start playing because we have played this before. We do know how to play. And oh. I will read the instructions. Uh, once a very light mouse decided to leave the peaceful life of the countryside in search of new ventures in the city. His name was Keijo. After looking for a new home for days, the friendly rodent finally found a quiet neighborhood with plenty of food. But his daily hunt for food had to be stopped as soon as the neighborhood residents noticed the new tenant's presence. In order to ward off... Oh, it's very loud here. Uh, in order to ward off the unwanted visitor, mouse traps were scattered, and from then on, everyone turned their attention to the small noises that a mouse makes when trying to wander between rooms. We've heard that in this building. That noise. Mm. Mice. To help Keijo, only someone who is perceptive and of excellent logical reasoning. Are you that? Do you have excellent logical reasoning? Apparently not. <laughs> I'm still struggling. Uh-oh. Five seconds. Oh, fail. Oh, uh, level two. Try again. Uh, would have the necessary skill to lead our friend through the rooms of the houses, collecting cheese, avoiding mousetraps, or running away before time runs out. Uh, gameplay. Look at the serial number on the score. Oh, we'll have to reset it again. So the serial, like each cartridge is its own ROM. And it's serialized right on the right on the cartridge, Neat. so you know what number you have, even if like the sticker peels off or something like that. That is very cool. Um, uh, you control Keijo, a mouse that walks quickly in a straight line. Your goal is to collect the pieces of cheese that appear sequentially in the rooms of the houses, avoiding the mouse traps, and before the forty-second time runs out. The game has six houses, each containing ten rooms in the shape of a maze. In the first house, it is a necessary it's necessary to collect four pieces of cheese, and in each new house you need to collect one more piece. So it goes up quite a bit. They also did that so if 
the ROM leaks, they know which cartridge it came from. Yes, that is um, very helpful in that respect as well. Oh gosh, I just messed that up again. Ah! <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, close, close, close. Took me a second. Uh, the fast little mouse that runs in a straight line. Once the direction has been chosen, it's not possible to change the movement. The mouse stops only when an obstacle is hit. There's a cheese. Pieces of cheese appear one after another in different locations. Guarantee you five points each. Ma mouse trap. Between the mouse trap alternates between visible and hidden, mm -hmm. and cannot be touched. If this occurs, the player loses five points and returns to the starting position of the level. So the maximum score would be five times six times ten. So sixty times five, three hundred points. Uh, the exit point for the next level is the door, but it cannot be touched while it is closed or the lights will come on and you'll be immobilized for three seconds. When you pass the level, the remaining time is added to the total points. Oh, not the maximum. So you get bonus points. Mm -hmm. So the maximum score is much, much bigger. The base score is 300. Uh, unless whoever leaks it changes the serial number. Yeah, so you'd have to, if you're going to, you'd have to hack it. And if they've done some clever coding, um, but even then. It's it's not impossible to, to change that. It's just a um, actually you could get it blamed on somebody if you change the serial number to some random number. Oh, down, right, left. Go go go! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, not quite fast better. enough. Yeah, you figure it out as you go. Because <laughs> once you figure it out, it's it's a really clever maze design. Yeah. Because every single spot is accessible on it. You just have to figure out how to get there. You have to figure out the yeah. path to get there. Yeah. Um, so they can place the cheese. Oh, didn't well, you didn't lose that. any points. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so they can place the cheese in any spot. Ah. Um, actually, not any spot. Well, it has to be accessible. They couldn't place one going to the door because then you'd freeze going to the door. I don't think I've ever Freeze? seen a piece of cheese on that top row. Because when you hit the door, you freeze for five seconds. A closed door. Mm. Down, right, up, left. <laughs> it takes me a second sometime. Um, scoreboard. Below and to the left in red, a timer shows the time remaining to complete the level. Blank is in the center. Uh, the player's score on the right... Is the same color as the walls in the house, the level indicator. So 10 seconds to level two, 47 points. Oh no. Gotta be quick. I know. Sometimes oh, you're like, so quick. how do I get there? And you need that second. The Ugh. game is for one player and uses a controller connected to the left connector of your console. Keijo moves up, down, left, right, and the same way you move your joystick. Stop it. Did you ever notice on the Commodore 64 that almost all games use the joystick port number two? Yes. Does Always any, port two. Does anybody out there know why they use joystick number two? I've never Always looked it up. Yeah. I know that joystick port number one, if you move the joystick around it, it printed characters on the screen. So it must have been hooked up to the same lines as the keyboard, some of the keyboard lines. Um... So that's a possibility that they didn't want to print random characters on the screen. So they always went with joystick number two. But there must be like a better reason for that. Because two-player games have to use joystick port number one. Console. You can return to the beginning of the game by pressing the reset switch anytime. The rest of the control switches have no effect on the game. When you turn on the console, your game's serial number will appear at the bottom of the screen. We'll have to take a look at that. I missed that. Useful tips. Mm. Try to memorize the fastest paths to access certain parts of the maze. They will make your movement more precise and will take the minimum amount of time to pick up all the necessary pieces of cheese. Use the mouse trap to your advantage. Sometimes the quickest way to get back to the starting point is through the mouse trap. It will take five points off your scoreboard, but if it can save you a few precious seconds if your time is running out, which is very true. 
I know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, just trying not the to get trap. Uh, disturbed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, <sighs> this one always gets me. Ah! <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> ah! Stop it! <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah, there. There you go. Five, four, yay, oh, level five! Phew. The alarm just adds to the tension of already a tense game. It does. It's a it, the the mouse its feet running, the uh, the design of the oh. six mazes. But you can go straight up, so it's kind of a shortcut. <laughs> uh, the design of the mazes that you're able to access every single point is really really smart. Mm -hmm. The mouse trap that uh, blocks you, which does move from maze to maze as well when you go through the same houses again i can't remember if there's two sometimes um use the mousetrap yep okay acknowledgements i would like to thank the people who helped make Kjo chases the cheese a reality i thank my family giselle and alice santiago uh for giving me the adequate support adequate support not good support adequate i'm sure this is a translation issue um in the development of the game uh, to my f oh no it's over so close so close okay you can read out okay the rest from the middle of that where did you get i'm to? gonna go middle of the acknowledgements to my friend leandro camara for hey, helping in various elements of the game work. suggesting improvements and for Ready. being the official beta tester and to claudia maria number three what? i don't know what the 21 is for 2021 oh. could be Anybody know uh, that? And to Claudia Maria for work on the wonderful illustrations that make up the graphic material. Again. Very cute. Love the eyebrows. <laughs> the eyebrows. I love the eyebrows. Oh, he looks so tense. So, so much anxiety. He's a mouse oh with anxiety. <laughs> well, yeah. he's trying to feed his family or whatever. And <laughs> there's mouse traps everywhere. <laughs> and he has to be care very careful yeah. not to touch the door. Yeah. Oh, I hear pitter patter of of a crazy cat crazy cats that sounds like there's a bug upstairs oh yeah oh how do i do this yeah. there we go i feel like i should go figure out what's going on uh, not yet <laughs> credits have you read the credits out no design development and sound effects leonardo santiago gameplay leonardo santiago eliandro camara illustrations claudia maria Text and final art, Leonardo Santiago. Proofreading by Fabiana Snirkovic Santiago. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I apologize. English proofing, Ana Luisa, Luisa Ferrari Oliveira. Oh my God. Did you read the developer notes already? Uh, no. Keijo is a game of logic and quick thinking. My intention in developing it was to create a fascinating game that could trap players and activate the competitive spirit among them, <laughs> forcing them to beat each other's scores. I hope you ha you can have fun playing just as I had fun developing. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. Yes, we do have fun playing this game. It's it so good. It is such a fun game. Ah! No! No! Stop. <laughs> Nostalgic. Put yourself in a room picking up randomly appearing cheese and having only 40 seconds to do so, and you see if you don't develop anxiety. <laughs> uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. What? I have to go all the way around. Yeah, I think you do. Oh, uh, good. It's time to leave this room. Yeah, I'm running out of time level there. Eight. Woot woot. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Go like this? No. Nope. You have to get to the far wall. Far wall. Oh. And over. <sighs> That's a long one. Oh, no. Okay. How do I... <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how I do this. <sighs> ah! Damn it. How do I do this one? Yes. Yep, there you go. Oh. No. Nope. Oh my god, that was <gasps> such a long path. Oh, that is a long path. Well, you are on level nine. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make this one. Oh my god, what happened? 
don't know. Nope. Nope. I forget. How to do this one. It's been such a long time. You have time. to go down to the bottom and and up. Oh. Get into that bottom part and then go over and up. Damn it. Yeah. And back at level one. At least level one is pretty easy once you've. Uh... Yeah. He, he <laughs> definitely did put them in the right order yes. for difficulty. Yeah, they do get harder. I love, I love uh, how he just becomes a fast little ball of mouse. <laughs> Atari. What was happening up there? What was that about? Cat, what, cat things. What were you up to? Just you can't see him. He's not in the cat camp. Why don't you sit over here? Why do you always stay by the door? <laughs> Come here. Safety. Oh, no, no, I'm not feeding him. <laughs> ah, I thought that was cheese. They're always like a foot away from the camera. <laughs> so, but they never they never want to be on camera. Come stay. Come. No, come, come. Play with these guys. There you go. Play with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're not my friends, Mom. Ah, <laughs> uh, what, 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 what do I do? What do I do? Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, I know. If I can get there. <laughs> there. Oh, geez. Oh, woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, three. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Sometimes you just get a really hard cheese. Are there any sequences of cheese that are theoretically it's, impossible it's, it's, to complete? It's, it's oh, no, there aren't. Um, you can get to every single spot. You just have to figure out how to get there. On the maze. From where you are. Yeah. Yeah. just have to figure out the sequence yeah so once you've figured out every board where you're like oh i have to hit that 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 and then i can get there because it's there there is one where you have to hit yeah it. and i think i did that, that as well that, that one time because i was thinking oh there isn't one but there is <laughs> way to use the mouse trap to your advantage yeah sometimes you you got to do it uh, up there um, 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 um there yeah. So you're kind of the best way is to work backwards. Or or to figure out where the the points that jut out are that will stop your path that's, that are that's in line I mean. with the um that's where it gets hard. Ah. Sometimes oh, that's that helped. ideal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean I don't care about points too much. If I could finish the game I'd care about points, but uh, All the way around. Ah, uh, well, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, someone was pointing out you didn't have to hit the closed door. There was a route to get to it that 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 you would have gotten at the cheese without hitting. Oh the door. my god! Um, 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 All um, the way um. around. All the way around. I think. Nope. Yep, it was. There. Poll is closed. We'll check on the poll after the game what people's feelings are about modding things. It's probably a way, but... Come on! Let me go! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, what? Ah! Thank you. Thank you for Thank subscribing! You. Um, 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 don't know. I need help. There. Haha. -ha. Sometimes oh, just going backwards is, is how you figure good. it out. Oof. Ooh, that was lucky. Booyah. Seconds. 19 months. Wow. Oh, Way button. to go. Oh, it's red. You've this is, oh, this pink. is the first level again. Peak pink. Peak probably. Pink. Do you have to do more? Mm, I think it starts over the count again. Oh, I see. I'm not sure. It didn't really... No! <laughs> like... ah. Go back. Yeah. Stop it! Get out of the way! Levels now. Nice. Who's following? Retro Reboot. Thank you for following. Thank you for following Retro Reboot. Glad you're enjoying. 
the mousecapades of what's happening. Yeah. Uh, there. Very nice. I think you get less time now. Now that it's a higher level. Mm. Um, mm. Um, 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 I think um. you're still getting. I'll have to double check um, on um, that. Um, um, um. There we go. Things are good. Thank you, Retro Reboot. Thank you for joining us. Yes, things are good. We playing are playing Keijo Chases the Cheese. The a retail version that was just <sighs> running out of time. Released. Yeah. Pull it. Good. Um, it went on sale uh, August. Oh, come on. <laughs> August this is a new 8th? game for an old system. Yes. Yes. August 8th, I believe it went on sale. Um, they're offering copies for sale on their Facebook page, uh, Red Button Games, which is a great name mm -hmm. for a company. <laughs> because the 2600 had one red button. There is ah. a t-shirt that... Atari Age put out. Yeah. That I do have. Um, and it and I wish what was on the back was on the <laughs> was on the front of the t-shirt. I keep meaning to ask oh. Al if I could reproduce it. Reproduce them or like make them or just make one of my own. Mm. Um it it says um good games only need one red button. Nice. Way. You have to go all the way around. All the way around. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I was thinking something else. Rings back memories. Yeah. Yes. It is an awesome, mm -hmm. fun system capable of a lot of stuff. Surprisingly, a surprising amount of stuff. Oh my god. Um, there. Open. Okay. Yes. Do you have Casey Munchkin? Um, I think somebody did make a version of Casey Munchkin for the 2600. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't think we played it on the show. No? Hmm. No. Interesting. Um, there we go. Ah. Uh, it's okay. Does it hurt you? Uh, it takes five points. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. What do we do? What do we do? What do we up, do? up and around. Up and around. Oh. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, one second. One second Woo. left. Casey in the shun's <laughs> trying to I don't have that either. I'd get copy striked. Uh, if I did play Casey in the There are some bad. Brazilian Atari clones with a yellow button instead. Yellow? Wow. Interesting. That is, that just seems, There's... that seems wrong. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. seem appropriate. There's one really cool... You pack at level one? Yeah. Third time around. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of levels, so I don't think I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. Do you have to get more cheese this time before the time runs out? Uh, like, don't is that how so. it goes up? No, it, it kind of resets every time. I'm not sure how it... Um, Judges. Nice. I think it resets. Because it would be an enormous amount of cheese you'd have to get. If it didn't reset. Ooh, some gimmies here. Um, okay. um, 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 um. Just have to, yeah, there. there we go. <laughs> what beer tonight? Mm, what is my beer tonight? Oh, uh, a oh Belgian God. blonde Gotta ale do this. from a local brewery called Dog Dogrod? Dogrod, I think. No! God damn it. Oh, this is taking so long. I am a fan of Belgian ales that have high alcohol content. <laughs> Is it just the high alcohol content? No, or no. Is, uh, the I, I think of it. it's the Belgian. -ness no! Of it. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, thank God. They're very refreshing, and they taste very nice. A little bit of bitterness. Not not too not too bitter. But, uh, um, yeah, something local. Blondes are more fun. I agree. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Hurry up. 
Oh, good, some gimmies. Um, then I can find my way. It gives me a little break mm. to find my way. There we go. How many levels were there? Can you look? It was like five times something. Game has six houses, each containing ten rooms. Oh, 60 levels then. Yeah. In the first house, it is necessary to collect four pieces of cheese, and in each new house, you need to collect one more. Each new house? Yeah, so there's six houses. Okay. Each, so there's, there's ten rooms in total for each house. Oh my god, what do I do? go around so it goes up to 10 cheeses to, to, to win oh, sometimes that's better mm. <sighs> Kjo is so cute I love that little sprite oh he's a cute little he mouse head. is so cute oh the black and white cat did stay on the floor good kitty <laughs> They just, they often, they're right in f they're right here, but they're not on the cat cam. They're here the whole time. You just can't see them. Yes, exactly. Like, they are basically here the whole time we play games. Okay, um, okay. Now. Struggling? No, you're good. Yeah, you used the mouse trap super efficiently in that la last round. I did? Yeah. I not did. Really A couple of times purpose, you, you died off of it, but then got the cheese really quickly, so. Um, oh. Oh, there you go. Good job. I, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Struggling a bit there. Mm -hmm. The out of time warning sounds a bit like the price eh, is eh, right eh, wheel. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Sometimes oh, the path is really long. Oh, oh up, no. D oh, no. Up, right, there you go. Enter the right. Oh. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Ah. I'm not going to direct you because it's very no, hard it to give directions. Sometimes. It is because mm. you're moving it's like, go so there, fast. Go there. Go over there. <laughs> Are there lives? Uh, no, you one. just run out of time. And when you run out of time, your game is done. Cats have nine. This mouse has one. Oh, yeah. The... the Cats really do have. They do. They get themselves into terrible predicaments. Yeah. Because they're so curious. Oh, now there's more. Look out. Yeah, the mouse trap. Multiple mouse oh. traps. Very good. I haven't been keeping track of what. <sighs> this is. Then? This has to be uh, house four. Because blue. I think this is the fourth color. Is it the fourth color? We can just see the level number there. Number there. Where is the level number? Um, 32? Oh, I yeah. see. So you can figure it out from that. Okay. So, there's 60. I'm, I'm not 10 levels, so you're in the fourth house. Yeah, you are. Okay. But this is definitely the furthest I have ever gone. I think, yeah, I agree. I don't think you made it this far. I think you only, the last time we played, I think you might have only made it to the second house. You have to go up. Oh, there. It's a lot harder with the two mouse traps now. Yeah. There's so many obstacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When a game has this tight a time limit, it's easier to just take over the playing than call out directions. <laughs> give that to me! Just, just give me the <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, it's true. Good for gaming, bad for relationships. <laughs> that's usually you're doing it all wrong. That's usually puzzle <laughs> games. Me. That's true. When that happens, it's like no, go up. Yeah. Ooh, got to the buzzer that time. I haven't been to the buzzer in a bit, which is a very good sign. Oh my god. You had it though. Yeah. <gasps> you did it again! <laughs> come down, come this down. Might be my end. Unless it gives me a bunch of easy ones. Oh no. <gasps> I 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a very lucky streak. That was an extremely oh, lucky geez. streak. You have to go down yet. To the corner. It's so much harder now with oh. all these extra traps. You never know what you're, when you're going to hit one. <laughs> Almost. Cheese <laughs> streak. I don't think streak is ever a yummy word in any context whatsoever. <laughs> streak of something? Would you like a streak of blah with your dinner? No, I don't want a streak of anything with my dinner. Streak of pesto. Maybe, streak of pesto. Oh, I love pesto. Pesto is. Oh, no. Trapped. That's the real mouse trap. Yep. <gasps> Yay! Cheese steak. Mm. That would be a much Instead better of a streak. than a Someone, streak. Someone, nostalgic, you saw streak and you immediately thought steak. It, yeah. So I know you're hungry. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. Give me. Give me, give me, give me <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Nope, I have to go down around. Oh. Oh. It's not the right way. That is. Nope, that is sweet. Oh, what? <laughs> My starting position. That worked out much better, yeah. That was very good. Um, no. Damn it. What are you doing? I'm having trouble. No. Um, no, you go back up. Oh. No. Oh, there you go. I was going to suggest something else, but that worked. Woo! That was excellent. I will retire on that score. <laughs> that was very, very good. Yes, that was very good. Um, such a fun game. Um, yeah. So you can. Where's the box? Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. So uh, on Facebook, you just go to uh, Red Button Games if you like this. Such a um, good. That is a good, good. Uh, very good game. Very good game. And very, very nice good. looking. Great. Uh, Title for your company. Yeah. Yep. Um. Oh, and the, the take a look at the logo of the company. Actually, it's really, really well done. Mm. Um, right here, you can see it's four, five, five black dots and one red dot. Yeah, and it makes a joystick with a button. Isn't that? I love really, it. Yeah, really it's clever. really cute. Yeah. Um, so anyway, if you like that, you can order it through their Facebook page or um, Leo uh, C. Santi can help mm. you out there with uh, other ways you can order it. No, don't scratch the couch, please. So next game. And thank you. Thank you so much for sending the uh, copy mm -hmm. of the cartridge and box to us here at Zero Page mm -hmm. Homebrew. Yes. Uh, we're very, very appreciative of very, it. Thank yeah. you to it's all of cool. our uh fans and friends in brazil yes um so let's take a look at the poll numbers here uh so at in the lead was 50 percent with 50 percent uh was millions of them are made why not enjoy them on a modern tv so yeah. most half the people have no problem modding, modding whatsoever an old system. yeah to play it on a new tv or, and, or what for whatever function yeah yeah and is there a better way of looking at that? Not really. <laughs> 28.6, I think. In second place <laughs> was uh, they don't have any problems. Or they, they want to keep them exactly pure, exactly how they have them. That's higher than I thought. Mm. I would thought most people uh, would have no problem modding them. And then in 21.4... People don't mind modding them as long as they can be put back to the way they were. Like That's put the reversible. chips back in, yeah. you know, put everything back the way it was. No, but what, but some are, what was the percentage you said absolutely not? 28. 28. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Which is a lot higher, almost a third. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit surprised by that actually, yeah. but, but you know, some people want it 
classic. They want it how they played it, you know, in their childhood. And you play it yeah. on a CRT. That's true. Preferably on a TV that has a dial at the top. <laughs> yeah. And nice what old. are those? What are those? Um, Might as well keep it pure. Uh, antennas? The antenna, you know, where you have the screws and you have to stick the two metal prongs in and oh, screw it in ears. with the rabbit ears for the, an the antenna. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Good times. <laughs> next game we're going to be playing is called Retro Park. VHF, UHF. UHF, VHF. Ready. And this game is, um, this is actually an exclusive. He gave me some updates okay. that haven't been posted yet by mm. Thomas Fenner, uh, known as Darth Tom on the forums. It was first posted September 1st, 2021. This build is from yesterday. He also made Le Mans, Retro Park, Safari Adventure, They Are Here, and Val's Marines. Mm. Uh, you can download an older version of this in the forums. I'm sure he'll update it very soon. So go ahead, load it up. He posted, when he first posted it, he said, please find my new game, done with Batari Basic, one line resolution. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions for improvements on the game mechanics would be nice. Sound effects I have to work on. You're Qbert, and you have to fight against some Atari 2600 retro monsters <laughs> in the woods from the E.T. movie. Nice. Written for this game from scratch. Not many bytes left. 235 bytes in total for missing sound routines. Mm. Have a nice day, Atari boys and girls. Then he posted an update, some bug fixes. Uh, shoots don't Shooting doesn't start in the middle of the screen. Um, so you can start playing. It's I, I, very I, simple. I, I have not played this oh. Uh, another suggestion, make it start with the button. <laughs> Couch compliant, <laughs> please. Oh, my old bones. What am I doing? Shoot. Shoot the enemy. Avoid the bullets. That's oh, all there ah, is. Ah. Shoot Can I the shoot enemy. Up? Shoot. You haven't Can shot I... once. There you go. Yeah. Um, some of the monsters, enemies so far, a cat from Tomboy, Pitfall Clone. Oh my gosh, it's a e weird movement. E.T. from E.T. Game. Spaceship from ET Game, Crocodiles from Pitfall, uh, Cookie Monster from Cookie Monster Munch, UFO from me, obviously Pac Man from Pac Man, uh, and Qbert from Qbert. Um, any other ideas for enemies? Write me, test it, have fun. Well, there's the UFO. Bolt ET from for the. <sighs> yeah, send ET to the trees, he'll fall right in. Uh, is the RGB mode reversible? Um, a mod? I don't know if it's reversible. I think most most things are reversible if you keep all the uh, original parts. What is that? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster? From Cookie Monster Munch. It's a kid's game made by um, uh, children's Oh, it's weird. Workshop. The movement is... is Because uh, they move... Oh, okay, apparently you can't hit the trees. Oh, you hit the trees? I accidentally oh, hit a tree, yeah. Okay. Uh, September 12th, he uh, emailed me with an update, found a minor bug in the score oh, count. Gosh. And then uh, September 12th again, he said, find my attached, my latest update, some more bug fixes of Retro Park. Now it's ready for your show. Uh, he said he was done in Batari Basic with his custom one-line kernel, so it's ROM hungry. There's only 119 bytes left in this ROM. No room for more enemies. If not, I have to skip the forest scrolling. Um, should I go in the direction of bank switching games? I don't like them because the limitation of these Atari games is the real thrill. So less ROM space you have, the more you'll be forced for clever clo coding, more creative ideas needed. And um, that is very true. If you keep yourself what resigned to 4K, a lot of people like that challenge oh. run into of, of coding. E.T. should be brown. So the enemies are... Oh, the trees change color. Oh, you got one cubert left. Ah! Oh, That's zero fun. cuberts left. You want to try? Does it start with the button? No, no it doesn't. Uh, I have to read a bit more. Okay. Actually, I don't. So I can reset. Here. Okay. You want me to reset it? Uh, no, you didn't die. It's all good. <laughs> um, That's cute. Yeah, a lot of people like... Oh, you unscrewed this again. <laughs> 
I don't know why and how. I don't know how either. I Am I oh. turning my hand as I play? There's a uh, Space Invaders dude. That yeah. Was just on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people like pl making 4K games because it is the challenge. And it was like two and 4K games were the original sizes of Atari mm. games. Mm. So I like to challenge themselves. That was the alligator. Crocodile, yeah. Yeah, crocodile. Are they crocodiles or pit the crocodiles or alligators in Pitfall? Uh, that could be either. I can't remember. Crocodiles always seem more menacing than alligator. Like just the name crocodile, <laughs> just seems more yes. dangerous somehow. Which it's I don't the hard think. Hard K's. I I don't think one is particularly friendly. Like crocodile, the hard K's it's always. It's a hard K's, yeah. And I can't remember the exact difference between them or where they it's are. The mouth and the location. I of know, them. I know. I'm not, I'm not well versed in. I think um, it's the the thinness of the mouth. In reptilian uh, <laughs> geography. Or... <laughs> reptilian geography. Yeah. That's a study. Yeah, I'm sure there is an expert somewhere. Ah, reptilian geography 101. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I what? He's already course. dead. What is that guy from? Uh. Apparently, ah. that's a spaceship in E.T., I ah. So What's the cat? Is it a dog or a cat? Uh, they said it was a cat okay. from... Or he said it was a cat from a pitfall hack. A Brazilian oh, pitfall hack. Oh, okay, okay. And I, and I gave the... These guys are shooting after they're dead. Yeah, nostalgia. Now oh, I know he's what shooting seems weird. Okay, I think... The shooting just takes place whether they're alive or dead. Uh, they don't disappear. The shots, they keep going. And Sometimes they disappear. Actually, I should. On, and then the color changes. On the. Th it's a little bit um, all over the place. On when there's triplicates and duplicates of an enemy, mm. and you shoot one of them, their shot disappears. Yeah. One of the shots disappears. You're right. But You're right. See, I shot that guy. I know. Die. I know. That's happened at least once to me. So there's a bug. Yeah. 1975. Ooh. Um, also, some of the movement is a bit strange. <laughs> the sides, but I kind of like it. It up if you go up or down. Yeah. It does not affect the enemy whatsoever. No, and I like that. It's weird. It only weird. affects the trees. It it yeah, like the enemy keeps on whatever path. It's like all the enemies are floating. Yes. And so their relative distance to you never changes, regardless if you're going up or down. Yes. They don't move with the background. You can't run away from them. No. So if you want to move down, you're not running towards or away from them. They just keep whatever, they, they're on whatever path relative to you that, that you're going. It's kind of weird, but you do get used to it. You do. Um, there are some uh, line issues. Yeah. Uh, watch the bullets. And they'll kind of go warpy. At some points, mm. like I the, like, they'll be on like two it, lines though. at the same time. I it's, like it. It's interesting. It's cute. It. Uh... I can't believe that's a Cookie Monster though. <laughs> I obviously never saw that original uh, Atari. Well, it's a kids game, so. I I never saw that game. No. No. I, I like the cats. I think it was very popular. I I was thinking they were black Scotty dogs or something oh. when I saw them because they they're little squat squat looking kitties, but I've they're cute. Played this a bunch. Um, and it all, it gets to almost impossible levels. I shot that. Yeah, one. you definitely shot. That's yeah. a nut. That's that's a book. This is good use of sprite width and multiple copies. Yes. It is. Yeah. I thought Cookie Monster was the fire from Pitfall. <laughs> it does kind of look like the fire. I love the. I I'll love. Look at him again. I love the Pitfall uh, alligators. Yeah, they're very cute. Slash crocodiles. Big E T. Big E T. And as soon as the bullets go off the screen, mm. it see it's getting to that point where it's almost impossible to dodge. Yeah. Because they're going so fast horizontally, the bullets. Oh. That's where I died all the time testing it. Oh. On triplicates at fast speed because mm. the bullets are going across the screen horizontally so quick, mm. and you don't speed up in this game. You almost can't avoid the bullets mm, gotcha yeah one more for you all right um but a uh, very fun simple shooter um nice scrolling of the trees you could almost call it parallax scrolling because it's independent of you and the enemies um 
couple bugs. The the bullet. Oh, it they get me. The, the bullets don't disappear when you shoot the last enemy, which maybe they're not supposed to. Uh, they, the, actually, uh -huh. no, that's not the problem. The enemies can shoot after they've been killed, which is uh, a bit of an issue. Can they? Yes. I've been killed. I, last My last game, I got killed multiple times by enemies shooting after they die. It's I the timing of their bullet going off the screen just after you kill them. Um, and sometimes it doesn't register you hitting a yeah. triplicate. Well, so it's not, or duplicate, because I was duplicate. hitting a duplicate too, and, yeah. and it was having trouble. I, the, you know. I can't even see my bullet anymore. What's going on? Oh, it's just orange. Just orange. Just orange on green. Yeah, but you think that would be more contrasting. Oh, ah, go down! Go in the direction <laughs> I say. <laughs> direction I'm terrible I'm terrible with joysticks sometimes I like the big ones very easy to kill <laughs> very easy the single big ones yeah you shot that guy twice I know yeah ah sometimes the the shrapnel <laughs> kills you and sometimes it does not so very cool yep oh blue screen for everyone <laughs> sorry blue screen to death uh so we found some bugs it's a very simple shooter it's fun kind of fun yeah yeah because there's it does get very challenging Kubert isn't familiar with non-diagonal moves <laughs> <laughs> not in this game he's no. not which is very <laughs> unusual uh so we're going to be playing legendary spear next which is also a brand new game i do think he should swear when he dies though Oh, that would be a good addition if he's got room for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he does, though. He said he was getting a little bit low mm. on room. Legendary Spear. Sorry. A little bit late getting today. Flipped. Yeah. Getting everything going. There we go. Load it on up. Ready. Load it on up. This is 2021 work in progress by Dave Christensen. First posted September 4th. This builds from September 12th. Mm. I'll give you the rundown. Nice background. You're, very nice background. You're on the horse. You have a spear. The button mm. makes the spear activated. Mm -hmm. Stab it into the other enemies. Ah, this one does start with the button. Oh, you have to press the button and let go of the button. Uh, don't run into the big piles. And don't let the enemies touch you before your spear is out. There you go. So, this is uh, the first game that I can find that he's posted. It's a 2K game. It's a very small game. Um, so your health is at the top left. You're almost done. Your score is in the top right. And your... Um, his name is in the bottom right. He said, this is a stampede-like scroller. I've been working on and off. Finally made it push to bring it all together. Comments appreciated. Since I've only ever run on Stella and Javatar, I kind of wonder if it works on real hardware. It does. Um, carry you a Jimbo post on September 6th. Nice. I'm really liking this far. So far, I'm looking forward to seeing it develop. I have a couple suggestions. First, vary the points of the enemies, making the faster ones worth more. Secondly, if those big rock things are supposed to be stationary objects you're riding past... They should move at the same speed when there are more than one on the screen. Um, Dave C said, those are really good ideas. Just push to new version that adjusts the point value as well as damage. Also messing with the rocks uh, be almost the same speed. They now move at a speed based on where they are on the screen vertically. They're trying to go for that kind of parallax effect. Big problem right now is I'm at the limit for 2K. I'm sure I can squeeze more out of the game, but I'm starting to feel a little caged in. I didn't start with the intention of making a 2K game, oh, but now I, I feel me. compelled. Try that again. Okay. I got hit. So you got 45 points. Reset. Oh, reset. A uh, little hint, you can hold down the button all the time. Yeah, but and you move can't around. move. Can yes, you? you can. Oh. Oh, you can. Um, he said he may be watching today. 
He said, awesome. Thanks for the bump. Hope to watch it live. I'll have some tricky timing with work tomorrow. Looking forward to it. I don't know if he... Is the pixel over... Is that pixel over a horse or a llama? What? <laughs> a horse or a llama? I think they're all horses. I don't think they're riding llamas. Yeah, it, it is like Joust and Stampede had a baby. Because yeah. <laughs> you do have... A, the enemies don't have lances. They just have sheer... Oh, oh he hit attempt. me. Yeah, I you think can't do that. The lance you is a different the sprite. Level. I, it's like a ball? Probably the ball. Actually, it could be... Since it's black, no, it changes colors. Do you change colors? No, it's probably the ball then. The end of his spears do doesn't change colors. Oh, sometimes it doesn't. So there's a little tiny bug. I think it was on the bottom it doesn't change. No, no, it's fine there. Mega size pricks pixels. Yeah, they're, they're really big, large. Big sprites. And nice too. Really good animation. It's just two frame animation. I think the enemy and you share the same sprite, so he's able to save some space there and the rocks are really nice oh yeah um and since they're on their own independent line i'm guessing the rocks are made with ah! oh <laughs> just take the hit oh, oh that takes you a took huge two hits or trunk oh there's another sprite when oh, you I get think hit i did <gasps> yeah. the game is really the llama's ass this game really whips the whips. llama's ass oh we got it right i got it wrong <laughs> That is from Winamp. I'll be right back. Okay. And also, if you hold it back here, he kind of um, charges forward. Like, I'll hold it. I'll let go of the button. He charges forward. It'd be nice if he, ch if he went backwards, too, as well. Oh, I hit that guy. Oops. So you can only go so far on the screen. It's a very limited movement. Like that's as far as you can go. Oh, I got hit again, I think. Or maybe I got two of them. Boom. Um, one thing I noticed in the game that it may or may not be a bug is that there's no diagonal movement. Oh, there, my pole didn't light up. Actually, if I move around, it should show where it lights up and doesn't. So there's some spots oh. where it doesn't light up. There. Oh. Didn't, there. Oh. There, it's not lighting up on the end. Oh, what is it? Oh, it seems to be passing through mm -hmm. something when it doesn't light up. There it is. Did you see Lambda Express's... Uh Comment? This no. is Dave. Just got home and tuned in. Hey, Dave. We're playing your game. <laughs> I'm thinking uh, when you were charging of making you move slower and also use those joust semantics when you, ha when you have to hit in a specific spot. That would be much better. Mm. Like you have to hit a specific spot on the enemy. Yes. And that oh, my oh, God. no. Oh. oh, takes a big chunk out of you. Mean. Nice. <gasps> I love the background and the, the sunset down there. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. It looks like... It looks beautiful. Uh, isn't that... What does the Arizona flag look like? Diagonal is an emission. The Arizona it, flag. Oh! Is uh, that what it looks like? The, the diagonal is an omission, meaning that it's a mistake? I don't... I don't know. Lack of diagonal. Lack of diagonal, yeah. There is no... You, like, you it's don't up, move. It's up, down. Yeah, it's true. Up, it's strictly up, down, left, right. There mm. is like you can't move when you go diagonal. Like, like I can't move down. He's looking for treats, eh? Bad cat. He's he's treat seeking right now. Treat seeking. He's a treat seeking cat. <laughs> it's on a mission. <laughs> and I was thinking, like he charges when you um, when you're back here, and I and I was hoping he went ah. back. Like when you charge, you go forward, mm. but he doesn't retreat again. I don't know if that's something he could do or if that would be weird. RC70 says, Arizona flag looks like star star set colors look similar. And I win the game! Yay, 99! 
now you have to win. Ah, uh, we'll see. Looks like star set colors look similar. Yeah, it just reminds me of the, like, isn't the Arizona flag, like, jagged or something? Mm -hmm. And it goes... Look at this guy. Oh! There he goes. Where are you? It's oh. a star instead of a circle. Oh, okay, okay. Could give more points for a more accurate hit. Yeah, I think he he did change it so that you get more points for faster moving guys. So that was two points. Oh, just missed it. Get out of the way, quick. Uh, uh, up, oh, I up. can't go up. Remember, <laughs> no diagonals. I'm almost dead. Yep. I'm almost dead. Had nine points. Oh, gosh, that's terrible. Yeah, like you accidentally hit diagonals sometimes and you don't move. You don't move. And it's I, like, oh, I, my God, I, I'm not moving. Oh, and I hit that. Your yeah, head was right I wasn't there. quite. I have, sorry, I have to be more accurate. Try that again. Okay, be a little bit more precise in my. Yeah, it's a joysticking. <laughs> Four-way joystick only. Yeah. Not eight-way. Hi. Nobody's giving you treats. I don't know if it's time. No. No, no, they don't deserve any treats. They don't deserve treats. Why? Are you bad cats? Always. Can somebody give them treats? Two minutes to treat time. Oh, RC70 is on it. And the, you can see on the pole sometimes there's a black dot. It also moves up and down when your pole, when your um, really? jousting pole is activated. And I can't figure it out. Why? There's a dot sometimes. Ooh, that was close. Usually it's on the top or bottom, but if you hold down the button and as you move... Oh, now it's close to the bottom there. Hold down the button and you move up and down the screen, you can see it traversing your pole, mm. the, the black dot. Usually games that don't support diagonals make you go one in the cardinal directions instead when you try. Yes. This one just doesn't do anything. It prevents you from moving, so you accidentally are not able to move which can make you die. <laughs> oh, you're doing much better now. I'm just being very cautious. Yeah. But a very, uh, very good for 2K. The the graphics, the sunset, um, the movement, uh, the concept of the, the joust pole, I think, like, would be good if you had to hit them on the nose or you get more points for hitting them on the nose or something. On the, the that's the one where you died last time mm -hmm. I me. wonder if it's the same pattern every time like it is in stampede just because of that three up the, yeah the diagonal thing is purely the code not processing more than one direction at once wasn't thinking about it, I just wanted to have knew I wanted some horizontal mm. Horizontal movement is too slow, not realistic. I think it could be better than all of them running to the right, but not slower. So that it seems that you're chasing them. Hmm. Oh, you're so close to hitting your hooves on that. <laughs> so close. You can adjust after you've your uh, spear is glowing. I, I, so, I yeah, I. I it's funny, I didn't think you could, but then I realized I was probably hitting a diagonal or something. Yeah, and so, you're probably pressing yeah. forward. Almost there. Almost. Oh, and you could, what else, also you could do is speed up the whole thing the higher the points. Because right now it's just the same speed the whole time. Um, and I think I got to 99 points the first time I played it. I think you should, instead of, I, and I don't know how easy or, oh crap, how easy or hard this is, but to start off with more of the slow ones and then gradually increase to more, to almost the whole screen being the fast ones. Do you know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast rocks and fast guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for following Tommy Monkey. Glad you are enjoying it. Yeah. Where it goes to mostly rocks and fast ones towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good too. It, Lambda Express says, I, I, I feel it definitely could be faster. I think so too. But it's, it's kind of nice that 
it's keeping the colors. Yay! Yay! You won the game. Woo-hoo. Yeah, it's not too challenging. No. I think I think they I think you it needs to be by the end all fast guys yes. and rocks and like you're dodging. You're dodging around yeah. the rocks. Yes. I, I agree with that. But it's cool and I really like like that that running horse. Oh. Yay! Thank you, RC seventy. Cats are so excited. <laughs> They're looking all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Stretch stretch sprites with H move adjustments. I really like the sprites oh. a lot. I think they look great. I think the background is beautiful. What do they call those? Like mesas? Those big rock formations? Mesas? So. Yeah. So. It looks really nice. Yeah, really great job. That cat's already knocked over. Thank there. you, Lambda Express. Or Dave. Oh, he cried. I mean, hit it. Yeah, I'll give you, you one. Did. You, you did. You did. There you go. There you go. We're gonna um, flip over to the kitties. Oh, kitty cam. Kitty cam. Okay. Can't move it out. out. Here. There you go. So today we played Cajo Chases the Cheese. Yep. Super fun. Very good. Now available to buy if you are interested. I think that's just the inner lining. I didn't miss anything, did I? There you go. Nope. It's the inner lining. No, um, nope, it's not for you. No. Oh, he ate it. Oh, oh Pixel, bad. No! <laughs> <laughs> he's such a hungry cat. Atari's so bad. <laughs> he's such a bad kitty. And then we played Retro Park, which is uh, yeah. a fun little shooter. Which uh, has a lot of uh, original Atari yeah. or retro gaming icons. Tree Thief. He is. <laughs> he is. He's, he's a hungry cat. Oh, no, you have to bring the bell. Hit the button. Hit the top. Hit the top. Yeah. Good kitty. Did he do that? Yeah, he did. Okay. Uh, and then we played Legendary Spear, which is a, a fun um, stampede-like game. It's definitely stampede-like. Um, Good Instead of a lasso, you have a spear. Mm-hmm. Um, there's things to avoid, just like the skulls in Stampede. I, I like it a lot. And yeah. huge, huge sprites and a really nice sunset. And yeah, amazing for 2K. Yeah, really, nice. really good for 2K. Very, very nice. Yeah. Um, oh, they're all done? They're yummies? Yeah, they're all done. And Atari did the job. Let him be happy. That's very true. Pixel does nothing. Does nothing. <laughs> he just gets by default a, a treat. T- takes advantage yeah. of the situation. Yeah, he does. Retro Park is sort of a re- Ready Player 2600. 600, yeah. It is. Yeah. It's like nostalgia filled the yeah. screen. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be playing Enduro after a short break mm. in uh, After Dark. Trying to achieve the patch in it. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling I might be able to. There's a decent chance. You, you I did okay close. last time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so come and chat. Yep, with us out, while chat. we're we're playing, I might get another beer or a glass of wine or something to yep. get me through the rest. How of the did evening. I got to almost the end of level four, day four, and you need to get to the end of day five. Day five, yeah. So I was very close to the end of day four, and yeah. day five's not much different from yeah. what I heard. It's about the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think I can get it this time. Yep, yep. I have high confidence. Yep. Yeah. That'll be good. Um. Uh, we do. Oh, you just need to get to day five. So you have to get... You don't Are have to get through it. Sure. I'll reread the instructions. Okay, we'll go through it again. But I'm sure you have to complete day five. You think so? But maybe you just have to get so to it. So maybe you have to get to the end of day if four. If I only have to get to day five, then I'm definitely going to get it tonight. You think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But we'll check on the instructions to yeah. see the wording on it, just yeah. to make sure. If you want to play with us... Yeah. Please pop. do. Pop it into your system and yep. play along and let us know how you're doing. Yep. Run on Stella or... Yeah. Oh, use... Charles Whelan. Yes, I just played it this week. Oh. Yes. So if anyone wants to kind of join us and chat a bit and then yep. then post their score. Play it on Stella or your unmodified RF. Your uh, uh, unmodified <laughs> RF. on your CRT. Yeah. 
you know, <laughs> get your beautiful laptop or, or, or tablet next <laughs> to you so it, you yeah. can pay attention and listen to us and then play it on your CRT. Oh, the flag shows up at day five start. Okay. Yes, that's right. There is a flag that... Uh, gotcha. Yes, power up your power CRT. Power up the CRT. <laughs> the degaussing sound when you turn it on. Ding. You know that sound? I... And it goes. Oh, when it goes. Like I love yeah. that. It's also a. Oh, that's that monitors. Warm up that's, monitor sound. That's, that's computer monitors. Is that, it? That do the degaussing. Oh, TVs didn't do that. No, the TVs. I love how the screen expands. Like it's like a. There's something kind of cool and creepy about that. Yeah. As as the. Oh yeah. Fluorescence yeah. kind of kicks in and this and it and it. Yeah, I don't there's know. I don't know what that is, cool but it's cool. Retro things that go along with it. Yeah. The static. Yeah. That is that you can put on the screen. Like you touch the screen, it goes. Yeah. The crackling of the oh, static. Oh, when you put, when you drag your hand across it, yeah. Take a magnet to it. it your hair will bends stick to it. I remember being a child, screen. and it's like, look, my hair's sticking to the screen. <laughs> yeah. Um. So thank you for joining in, but stay tuned. We're not yeah. going away really. We're only going away for ten minutes, and then we'll be back. You'll yeah. get to listen to some cool music in the meantime. Do you remember the really old ones? When you shut them down, you saw the colored dots. So it went. Pew, Oh, yes. And it stayed there? Yeah. It's because it was, I think it was just because there was a uh, capacitor. Yes. That, that was still charged up, but it wasn't moving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, like, it was right went in the to middle. the center. Yeah. Because I guess the default position is the center of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. My kid, oh, and also the high-pitched noise of TVs mm -hmm. when they were bad. Mm -hmm. But like the end of an HBO show, yes. Mm -hmm. HBO still has that that crt look yeah that that noise yeah. yeah um so thanks for hanging out with us rc70 metal lunar 7 vitoko rc70 again <laughs> cafe man 2d arena foot endure desert bus 2600 Same desert difference. bus a lot easier but also a lot harder <laughs> it's just long yeah um charles whelan thank you for the tips hopefully it is just day five uh mike soul uh lambda express thank you for joining us and uh making that game yes it's a lot of fun very fun yeah um and you get to feed the cats again uh and, <laughs> maybe yeah, unless maybe. i complete it really quick yeah andy cat 20 28 thank you for yeah. joining us who else cardboard box, cardboard box. phaser soul. cat games phaser cat uh vitoko crossbow what are things working on a 7800 tonight uh, Leo. Ricardo Pim. Yeah, Leo Santi. S. Leo C. Santi. Leo Thank C. you so Santi. much for sending uh, Kajo yes. Chases the Cheese. Yes. Retro Reboot. Yes, Thanks for Thank watching. Thank you for following. How do you get classic consoles to work on current TVs? Very ah, good question. It is a good question. You have to run them through an. Well, you have to capture them on a capture hardware device. Yeah. Um, with really old ones, they only have RF output, which. No capture device captures RF output. Yeah. You'd have to run those through a VCR. Yeah. Um, that is able to take like channel three or four yeah. and change it to uh, composite out at least. But all, all my systems are modded so that they output like uh, RGB or S video or composite mm. or anything else but RF. Yeah. So I'm able to capture them and then it goes onto the computer. Yeah. That's the easy. That's the, the short version of it. Yeah. Um, he's probably gone now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike Soul, did I say that? Who else? That's uh, Splendid Nut. Lots of people's. Lots of people's today. The best channel on Twitch. Wow, yes. Thank you. Thank so you, Andy Cat. <laughs> thank you, Andy Cat. So, um, coming up, we have an 8 bit day in the future. I'm not sure if I'll move it or not. Right now, it's scheduled, scheduled for the 21st. Don't know what I'll do for Friday. That's Darcy's day. Yeah. Um, not much has come out for the 2600 or 7800. Mm. So I might move the 8-bit day to Friday. Don't know yet. We'll You'll see. Figure we'll it. see. You'll find something worth um, so, in there. So um, stay tuned. We're going to be playing Enduro in 10 minutes. You're not going to be kicked off. Just keep the, keep the show on. Keep it on. running and we'll be back. We'll be back. Get some water for you Listen or whatever you need. You actually have two glasses over there. Yeah. So probably I, not more water. Still need to fill up, though. Yeah. Um, so uh, hang tight. And um, I think that's it. We will see you in a few minutes. Um, there we go. See you in a few minutes. Bye-bye.